Meet Jade. Jade is taking her unmanned aircraft qualification skills test with UAV Air. This is necessary for all professional and commercial drone pilots as it provides the CAA with acceptable evidence that you're capable of flying your class of small, unmanned aircraft to a reasonable standard. The actual assessment is only 90 minutes but is treated as a commercial operation and Jade will be expected to complete the flight within the allotted time. Having already completed her theory training with UAV Air, Jade then decided to take a few weeks before completing her flight assessment. During that time, she had to study her company's operations manual. However, Jade had to fill out her flight planning paperwork prior to the skills test. Then one day, she completed her site assessment paperwork. She was advised to focus on potential hazards and make safety a primary consideration. Finally, before taking the exam, Jade makes sure she has valid insurance, logged two hours of flight time in the previous three months, and filled in her technical log and pilot logbook and uses a set of operating procedures for SOPs. On the day, Jade is required to construct her aircraft, which matches the mass category she's applying for, and conduct a pre-flight inspection in line with her operating procedures. The assessor then asks her some technical questions to check her understanding of her aircraft and its systems. The assessor asks Jade to brief on her actions in the event of an emergency. She gives answers in line with her standard operating procedures. She is told she is the pilot in command, the assessor will not be able to assist her in any way. Now Jade is in charge. She completes her first maneuver, a 20-second hover in GPS mode. Then the drone is set to ATI mode for the rest of the assessment. She now has total accountability. She completes another 20-second hover before demonstrating a series of maneuvers while maintaining visual line of sight at all times. A small circle at 20 meters altitude, height perception raising to 40 meters, linear tracking, descending and returning to home. At some point during this whole process, the instructor would declare a simulated emergency for Jade to test her reactions. Jade is now almost finished and is instructed to put her aircraft back into GPS mode and pilot it away from her. The assessor then asks Jade to break the control link by turning off the transmitter. This is to test Jade has set the aircraft up so that it will revert to its fail-safe mode and return to home. The drone lands safely. Jane makes her aircraft safe and continuing to follow her standard operating procedures, inspects and dismantles her aircraft and completes her pilot and technical log. After the post-flight debrief, the assessor awards Jade with her unmanned aircraft qualification. Jade is now able to fly drones professionally for Lensflare, who already have their permission for commercial operation work. UAV Air. Professional. Experienced. Knowledgeable.